This is one of the best movies that you're probably never gonna have the chance to see. I just finished watching Duel at the movie theater, and I feel like this is one of those projects that will go unnoticed, but has a lot going for it. It was written and directed by Riley Stearns, best known for creating the movie's faults and the art of self-defense. Of course, at this point, you know, spoilers ahead. The story focuses on a woman named Sarah who unfortunately learns that she has a life-threatening disease that will kill her eventually. 98% certainty with a 2% margin of error. It's a rare stomach disease that will consume her life eventually, but it is a painless process. She's disconnected and dissociative from every single relationship in her life. And then she gets a second opportunity because the doctor offers the opportunity to have a replacement. It's a classic tale of futuristic sci-fi technology where humanity has arrived at the point that cloning is just an everyday thing. Especially when you can provide services that create a replacement for you in the case that you eventually, well, you kick the bucket. But there is an important distinction. These clones do not live on forever and you only get one of them. You cannot make clones of clones. Actually, you get a carbon copy of yourself without the disease at the exact moment of your life that you get the replacement. It's a painless process, but let's see how that works. Sarah ends up finding out that this clone of herself is actually a perfect version of her, or at least in some of the aspects that she would expire, like physically or even like her eyes being a different color, which attracts just a different unique taste from other people. One of those people being Sarah's boyfriend, Peter, played by Biula Koale. He starts to fall in love with her clone. In their relationship, at least for the first few minutes of the story, we know that they were having problems. And this throws a wrench in everything because essentially Sarah's clone starts to imprint on whatever she can gather. She's supposed to gather information on Sarah for approximately 10 months in this case, in order for her to truly assimilate this new person that she's becoming. She ends up discovering her own taste, her own style, and even like the new favorite food that she wants. But of course, like clockwork, the plot thickens because the doctors were wrong. Sarah is in remission and she's not dying anymore. And thus we truly get to understand the pun in the name of the movie, Duel. It is written D-U-A-L, exemplifying the concept of having a double, a doppelganger if you will. But what we didn't know is that if a double, or in this case like a doppelganger, lives long enough and they acquire their own a specific sense of self and they basically develop a will to live, they can have a motion to stay alive. And by law, this future requires that they have a fight to the death in order to figure out which one dies and which one lives. You can watch the movie for all the hilarious shenanigans, but Karen Gillian does an outstanding job in this dual portrayal. She covers the same character, but in two very distinct and different ways. It's essentially two different people that are trying to come to grasp with the fact that each one has the life that they want. Granted, this is a dark comedy, but it has an introspective tone that really hits you deep in the core. Who am I? Who do I want to be? Would I want a doppelganger? Would I want to live forever? What is the concept of death and what does that mean for me and the family members around me? All of those questions are answered in a very weird and humorous way with the help of Trent portrayed by Aaron Paul. He is the one that trains Sarah for her duel. And within that training, he winds up awakening all of these feelings inside her. She becomes desensitized to violence, but at the same time realizes, is this duel even worth having? Does my life mean anything? What does her life mean? to me and what does her life mean to others around me. I was fully engaged with this movie from start to finish. The visuals, the score, having two characters being portrayed by the same person, it was absolutely seamless. And the plot twist at the end, homie, Dios mio. The film originally released on January 22nd of this year, but it began a limited run at theaters on April 15th. So over the next two weeks, if you're looking for a different style of dark comedy that can let you have a little bit more thought into who you are and who you want to be, this is the movie for you. It's not perfect. It has some pacing issues near the middle of the movie. The message at the end and the plot twist is just worth the price of admission. Aaron Paul and Karen Gillian were absolutely amazing. And Biula Koale also did an outstanding job. Nevertheless, in all the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, this is a project that should not go unnoticed, so I just wanted to bring it to the top of your attention. If you do end up watching the movie, make sure to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And as always, make sure to like the video, share with your friends, subscribe, because we're covering everything pop culture on this channel, including my streams of very popular video games. And of course, just crack a smile, ride the wave, and I'll see you on the next one.